Hi there, and assalamu alaikum. In today's video, we're going to learn how to make the Instagram logo. So let's get started. I already have a sample of the Instagram logo. So the first thing I'm going to need is the color sample. So I'm going to grab the rectangle tool and make three rectangles as the logo clearly has three colors. So I'm going to select my first rectangle and grab the eyedropper tool and sample the purple color from here. Next, I'm going to select my second rectangle and sample the color from the circle in the center of the logo. And lastly, I'm going to select my rectangle number three and sample the yellow from the bottom of the logo. All right, sampling's done. So let's double click the layer and check the dim images to option. I think I'll keep it to 50% and uh, hit OK. And I'm going to lock this layer and from the bottom of the layers panel, I'm going to click on create new layer and I'm going to do all the magic in this layer. Next, I'm going to grab the rectangle tool and make a square covering the outer square of the logo. And since it's yellow, I'll hit the letter D to reset it to default. And then I'm going to hit forward slash key to change the fill to none. Now, using the selection tool, I'm going to adjust the square as per the logo from all the sides. Once that's done, I'm going to pull the round widget inward to round the corners to match the logo. Next, I need another rectangle for the white rectangle inside. So instead of grabbing the rectangle tool once again and drawing it afresh, it's always better to copy the one I already have. So I'm going to do a command C on a Mac or control C on a PC and then command F on a Mac or control F on a PC to paste in front. Now holding option and shift on a Mac or alt and shift on a PC, I'm going to drag the rectangle inward so as to align it to the center of the white rectangle. Please take note that the inside rectangle is a little curvy, so a proper alignment is not possible using the rectangle tool. For that, we'll need the pen tool or curvature tool, but I'm sure we can get very close to the logo using the rectangle tool as well. Once satisfied with the alignment, I'm going to grab the ellipse tool and draw a circle holding shift and option on a Mac or shift and alt on a PC and try to align it to the center of the circle, much like we did with the inside square earlier. Now select all and center align them using the alignment option on top. Now select the inside square and increase the stroke weight to match the white square of the logo. Similarly, select the circle and increase the stroke weight to match the circle of the logo. Next, make another circle for the corner one here and turn the stroke weight down. Now select both the inside square and the circle and change the stroke color to white. Also select the tiny circle and change the fill to white and stroke to none. Also we don't need the stroke for the outer circle so let's change the stroke to none for this one as well. Okay, now it's time to add the gradient. So let's select the outer square and go to fill and click on the black and white gradient and then click on the gradient option. From here, let's change the option to radial. Now grab the gradient tool from the toolbar on the left and click and drag from the bottom left corner to match the gradient on the logo. Next from the gradient tool, Double click on the white circle on the left to open a color palette and click on the eyedropper tool. Now sample the yellow color from the swatch we made earlier and you shall find it picking the color instantly. Now move on to the right end of the gradient tool and double click on the black circle and from the color palette using the eyedropper tool sample the purple color from our swatch and lastly, click once on the center of the gradient tool to add another color 
and then double click on it and sample our third color from the swatch. Lastly, drag the gradient tool to match the gradient color areas of the logo and your Instagram logo is ready. Alright guys, that concludes our session today. I hope you enjoyed it and if you have, do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Until we meet again, goodbye and thanks for watching.